So, basically what we're going to show you today is for people like me who have a phone who will play MP3s, but for some silly reason will not play, will not let you take those MP3s and make them into ringtones. Well, we're going to teach you how to do that, convert them into ringtones. Of course, given your cell phone can access your computer in some way or form. But here we go. So basically I will just show you right now with my cell phone, if you can get it in focus, is there a song. It's 10 inches deep. It's awesome. You, you, this one's got a pretty good mic, actually. It's hmm? got a pretty good mic. <laughs> you can't kill the metal. <laughs> yeah, that's our song. So let's just say we want to make it... A ringtone. Normally I would just like flick down here and go use as, but as you can see my phone has added a feature just to piss you off saying you can't use it as anything. No matter how many times I click that button, nothing will happen. Because in order to play a ringtone it must be a ringtone, ringtone format, which is AMR. So what we're going to do now is convert it to AMR. But uh, here's the program really fucking simple okay we're just gonna go here we'll say for mobile immediately translates to AMR high quality we're good and uh, basically we're just gonna add the file we want just plug in my phone here now we got it here we're just gonna find it here and add it in there it is sweet I'm retarded <laughs> <laughs> that's not Anyways. getting edited out so you find it down there you can do it again here just to save yourself some time we'll say yeah sure why not but make sure you don't hit convert now because what this bottom one is is what it's going to output it as what the file will be eventually so just take out the dot mp3 and change it to dot amr it'll make it nice and easy for you and then you hit convert and it wastes some time because programs like to make you think that they're thinking but anyways you can actually get this program in linux too in case any of you losers are actually using that shit suckers but yeah it's uh, successful, as you can see. It'll give you a bunch of info that no one really, really understands all that much. Even the guy who made the program doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah, the guy just like put like dot dot output slash, and this is what came up. So, but yeah, we're gonna click OK. We're good. It's done. If you go in the folder here where it's all stored at, you will see that I have an AMR version and the regular MP3 version there is perfect because now that we're done that when I go down here just get rid of this stuff so we can pull the plug on it without you know blowing shit up because blowing shit up's bad okay alright so now we're gonna try the same process here with use as you're a sick bastard Alright, so we're going to go down here to ringtunes. And we're going to go check out. Change D. You'll see I have an MP3 there. And just above it, that little quoted dot 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 comic looking thing, that's an AMR file. So, if we go to use as this time, you'll notice everything is available. So we'll set that up as a ringtone. And just for, you know, complete idiot proof value, I will show you that it is set up as a ringtone. And it will work this time. I suppose I could have just went into ringtones to do this up, but, you know. So here we go. And that's that. 
Uh, if you notice, there is a quality difference, but that's because you're not using the same file. But it'll sound good when your phone goes off. Just uh, use the actual MP3 when you want to listen to it. Um, I hate you.